What's happening? It's Dave, hanging out in Dave's fish room. Thought I'd do an update. It's been a while. And so it's uh, July. And uh, the last time I did a video, I was trying to breed, and I spawned some German blue rams and some gold rams. And I, I've had some success with uh, the ram spawning um, in this tank here. They spawned uh, gold rams. Only problem is, is the snails get to them, the, the eggs, before they can even hatch. Which, uh, I'm going to have to try that in a bare bottom tank with no gravel and do it that way. But, uh, I was trying to get away from the guppies and I just can't do it. Uh, actually, I'm going further into the guppies. Um, my water here is, is pretty acidic and... It's great for cichlids, well, African cichlids, but not so great for, you know, tetras and, and rams and stuff. So I've been putting driftwood and Indian almond leaves and stuff in there for them. And uh, so, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got the, the, good, uh, the good water for the guppies. I, I guess that's why they're so plentiful in all of my tanks. So I've been all over Aquabid, and I, I've got a pair... Well, I got several, actually, over here. Yeah. Uh, I got 12 full platinum uh, guppies, red eyes, albino. And uh, I got three males, and the rest were females. Uh, these are all females, and the larger female and the larger males are in here. So this female will probably give earth here in the next month or so they kind of wash out but they're they're really gorgeous the, these are some that I've, I've pulled out you know just mutts that uh, I've kind of kept and uh, trying to pull some of the inler out of some of them and get that going I really I'm really digging the inlers I'd like to get a, a whole group of them kind of like this these are wild uh, caught guppies that I got uh, from a local lake. Uh, they're small live bearers. They call them mosquito fish, but they're native to Texas here. And uh, I was reading up on them and uh, they've taken them to Hawaii and, and stuff for mosquito control over there, but they're everywhere around here. So I've been feeding them up. I dewormed them and uh, Gonna play around with them, maybe cross cross them with some handlers or whatnot. But I am gonna be trying to keep a, a nice strain of guppies and and work on that and uh, try to perfect it. Maybe maybe try to start selling an aqua bid, you know, to pay for some of this madness I got going on in here. And uh, the glare is terrible, but uh, this pair of angels still kicking. Um, I'm pretty sure they're a pair, but they haven't ever laid any eggs. Uh, I've been seeing them picking around at this pot, and they were over here picking on the filter the other day. A little bit of aggression, but, uh, yeah, they're just chill. I'm digging them. And, uh, over here, uh... Black phantom tetras are always hiding up there, like black phantoms. But uh, there's a pair of German blues in here. Uh, I've had them spawn, same thing happened. Too many snails. I have some assassin snails in there, but it's going to take a while. So down here is the 40 gallon dirted tank. So it's been up for several months now finally getting algae under control and this I've been dosing it with uh, with the uh, liquid CO2 the flourish XL and uh, it's been rocking along pretty good so yeah that's it for that tank <clears throat> over here more madness uh, just set this middle tank up it's a divided tin 
but uh, I'll be keeping guppies in. Uh, cut some lids and everything. They're still kind of cycling in. I've got a few random ducks in there. This is my uh, school of the white clouds that I spawned several times. And uh, pretty successful with these guys. But uh, I plan on probably taking, taking them out of here and putting some wild type endlers. Trying to keep a strain of endlers going. Same thing over here, just kind of got them split up, but uh, yeah, once the guppies start filling in, uh, they're going to be moved around, and of course, I always have the jungle rocking along up here, the 55. Everything's big in there, just big and healthy. The uh, bleeding heart tectors are really cool, and uh, you know, the big old Bolivian ram there. So, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's what's up in Dave's fish room. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back with you when these guppies start, uh, start to do their thing, and we'll see where we're at from there. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace out.